guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys stopped by today. I hope you brought your sweet tooth because for today's video, we're going to be making a rock candy themed baby fox. So I've been in the mood for some candy. It sounded good. I just started looking through the shelves at the stores and I was like, you know what, this is really cute. How about I use it as a theme for a project? So, hence this video has been born. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys have any cool candy ideas for future projects, let me know down below and I'll see what I can do. Without further delay, let's get started. Okay, first things first, I'm going to make a layer of clay on top of the glass. The glass I'm using is actually a candle holder and I'm just using the bottom of it. But you can use whatever glass is more comfortable in your hands while you're working. After I have a nice layer started, I'm going to start on building up clay for the snout and shaping where I want the eyes to go. Since this piece is going to be a rock candy themed piece, I'm going to add a couple crystals to it. I'm then going to start on the eyes. Next is making the mouth and the nose for the fox. I'm also going to sculpt a couple fake crystals around the real crystals that I put in. That way it blends in a bit more. All we need to do is make the furry details for our fox face and we can move on to its little paw pads. For the paw pads, I'm going to start by using gems for the middle pads and then build the toe pads around them. Okay, then it's just time to bake everything. I'm going to set everything in the oven to 275 Fahrenheit and leave it in for roughly about 50 minutes. Now I will note, if you want to use gems, make sure they're glass because plastic ones have a tendency to melt in the oven even at the low temp that you're going to bake your clay at. So just be careful and aware of that. Okay, here's the thing. I kind of lost a little bit of my footage of me painting. It is not too big of a deal, you really won't miss much. All I did was paint it blue for 20 minutes. So um, just imagine me painting it blue in front of you guys. <laughs> you still get to see me do the eyes and details for the crystals and all of that. So I mean, I'll make it up to you guys. I'll do something special in another video for you. I just haven't come up with what yet. <laughs> so anyways, back to the video.
Once I'm done with all my painting, I'm then going to apply a layer of resin over everything and let them dry overnight. Okay guys, these are all the different pieces of fabric that I've cut out for this piece. I'm actually going to do a time lapse and show you how I put all of this together. So, I hope you enjoy! Once you have the sewing to about this point, this is when you're going to start gluing the paw pads on along with the face and then start stuffing and closing everything up.
Now that I'm done stuffing and closing up our fox, it's time to add the ears to it. Once the ears are all done, I'm then going to just shave down the legs so they look a little bit more foxy and then our piece will be all finished. Okay guys, and that's how I made this cute little guy right here. If anyone's interested in buying him, I will have a link down below to my Etsy shop, and he will be there until someone purchases him. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done that already, so you can catch more of my creatures, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!